Assalamu alaikum, my dear student, I hope you are well. Today, I will discuss about proportion and ratio, chapter 11.1, second class. CQ, CQ first, number one, if A, B, C continued proportion and P equals to ethyl. Then, first number question A, show that ethyl equals to ethyl, B equals to ethyl, and C equals to ethyl. Now, I will start A number. Since, since A, B, C continued proportion. Since A, B, C continued continued proportion proportion so we know that by the definition of continued proportion a is to b equals to b is to c or a by b equals to b by c then we have b squared equals to ac b square equals to ac then left hand side then left hand side equals to a square plus b square by b square plus c square now putting the value of b square putting the value of here b square and b square then we get a square b square equals to ac putting the value of b square equals to ac then b square equals to ac plus c square now taking common a from numerator so a plus c then taking common c from denominator a plus c then a plus c a plus c going go so a by c equals to right hand side so left hand side equals to right hand side proved shown a number complete next next b number B number given 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 P equals to P equals to root over 1 plus x plus root over 1 minus x by root over 1 plus x minus root over 1 minus x or P denominator is 1. Now, component and dividend. Component dividend means numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator. Then, P plus 1 numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator equals to numerator numerator plus denominator here numerator then plus denominator 1 plus x minus root over 1 minus x by numerator 1 plus x plus root over 1 minus x minus denominator root over 1 plus x minus root over 1 minus x then p plus 1 by p minus 1 equals to root over 1 plus x root over 1 minus x then plus root over 1 minus x minus root over 1 minus x by root over 1 plus x 1 plus x plus 
root over 1 minus x minus root over 1 plus x plus root over 1 minus x. So minus root over 1 minus x and plus root over 1 minus x. Then denominator 1 plus x and 1 plus x. Then p plus 1 by p minus 1 equals to root over 1 plus x plus root over 1 plus x. So root 2 root over 1 plus x by root over 1 minus x plus root over 1 minus x. So 2 root over 1 minus x. Then 2 and 2 unit. Then we get or p plus 1 by p minus 1 equals to root over 1 plus x by root over 1 minus x. Then squaring both sides we get squaring both sides we get now p plus 1 whole square by p minus 1 whole square equals to root over 1 plus x whole square by root over 1 minus x whole square. Now using formula a plus b whole square. Using formula a plus b whole square. So p square plus 2 p into 1 plus 1 square. Similarly using formula a minus b whole square. a square minus 2a plus b square. Then uh, p square minus 2 into p into 1 plus 1 square square root elimination so 1 plus x by 1 minus x or p square plus 2p plus 1 by p square minus 2p plus 1 1 plus x by 1 minus x again using component or dividend row. component or dividend row means numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator in both sides. So, using component or dividend row, numerator, numerator plus denominator. Denominator is p square minus 2p plus 1. Then p square plus 2p plus 1. Then minus p square minus 2p plus 1 equals to here numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator similarly in right hand side numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator Component to using component to dividend to side note or p square plus 2p plus 1 p square minus 2p plus 1 then p square plus 2p plus 1 minus p square plus 2p minus 1 equals to 1 plus x 1 minus x then 1 plus x, 1 plus x, minus plus minus 1, minus minus a plus. So minus into minus plus into x. So xx and 1 1. Left hand side 2p, 2p and p square, p square, 1 and 1 square. Then we get 2p square, p square plus p square, 2p square. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then 2p, 2p is 4p. 4p equals to 1 plus 1 equals to 2 by 2x. 2 and 2. Then we get taking common 2 from numerator so, so p square plus 1 
then 2 into 2p, 4 equals to 2 into 2, into p equals to 1 by x, or p squared plus 1 by 2p equals to 1 by x, then alternando, using alternando p squared plus 1 equals to 2p, 2p by x. Then take it to the left side all expression. Take it to the left side of 2p by x. Then minus 2p by x plus 1 equals to 0. Proved. Proved. I hope all students are clear. Then next number C. We start C number. C. Since, according to stem, since A, B, C, A, B, C, continued proportion, continued Proportion. Proportion. Then we know that by the definition of continued proportion, A is to B equals to B is to C or A by B equals to B by C. Then we have B square equals to AC. And first expression, second expression, third expression. Now, second expression, second expression is a minus b whole square by a square a equals to using formula, numerator using formula a minus b whole square. We know that a minus b whole square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square by a. Putting the value of b square in numerator, a square minus 2ab, here b square equals to, b square equals to ac by a. Taking common a from numerator, a minus 2b plus c by a. So we have a minus 2b plus c. Then second expression, we have second expression b minus c, b minus c whole square by c. Now, using formula a minus b whole square, so third expression b minus c whole square by c. Now, using formula a minus b whole square, b square minus 2bc plus c square by c. Similarly, putting the value of b square, we know that b square equals to ac. So, putting the value of b square is ac minus 2bc plus c square by c. Then taking common c from numerator, then remains number a minus 2b plus c by c. So, a minus 2b plus c. Then we have here second expression, hello of second expression a minus 2b plus c and third expression, hello of third expression is a minus 2b plus c are same. So we have a minus 2b plus c equals to a minus b whole square by a equals to b minus c whole square by c. Then proved. I hope that all are you clear. Then your homework, next class homework, CQ number two. Allah Hafiz.